I am Captain Jeff from the Sailing Academy. I am reviewing the Vico S35 today. It's this blue hull boat right behind me. Let's climb aboard and start the cockpit. What first impressed me about this boat was the just enormous size of the cockpit. We've got another boat in our fleet the exact same size. The cockpit's very narrow and very small, and you can't fit as many people in. So I was really impressed how spacious it is, and I love the fold-down transom, so it turns into a really fantastic swim platform. Uh, it also folds back up while you're sailing. I first sailed this boat in the um, in the Baltic Sea, and I was very impressed with how it how it handled. There was none in the States, and so we had to get some brought over. I really like the dual helm. It really opens up the cockpit space and makes a nice flow from your companionway all the way up through the cockpit, back to the transom of the swim platform. I like how they have the grab rails on the table. So nice and secure in the cockpit, even though it's wide, there's something to hold on to. Um, winches are nicely laid out on your primaries. And then for um, your line handling up here, the clutches are also very nicely laid out and organized for all the different lines. Feature of this boat you don't see on many yachts these days is these nice high um, gunnels that go all the way the full length of the boat. Very secure feeling walking down the side decks. Nice lots of room on the side decks from the bow um, all the way back here to the stern. I also like the high uh, gunnels is because it gets all the deck gear, all your stanchion ba um, bases, blocks, and cleats up off of the deck. And I don't stub my toes as I'm walking back and forth from the um, bow to the stern. Fore deck is nice and wide, comes up. The anchor locker has tons of room for storing fenders and anchor gear, anchoring gear and stuff. Also has a windlass on the on the bow with good anchor storage. On the, and the bow sprit is out there for holding your anchor, but also for um, the spinnaker. If you've got the jenniker or spinnaker on this boat, that's where the attachment point is. Plenty of deck hatches, nicely laid out for good ventilation down below. And their dodger is nice and large, covering, nice and secure get you out of the weather if there's inclement weather out. Has a well-made stack pack for handling the mainsail, drops down to the lazy jacks, right into the bag and zip it up. You don't have to worry about flaking it or trying to put the bag on top. So very easy for mainsail handling. Now, let's go ahead and head below and take a look at how it's laid out. Down below, it's a very comfortable yacht, very nicely laid out. I like the, the white oak washed finish. Keeps it light and airy and very beautiful. Now this yacht comes in a two cabin or a three cabin version. This version has the two cabins aft, which are identical for guests, and uh, uh, the main cabin for the owners is forward. The galley's nicely appointed, has a two burner propane stove with oven on gimbals, um, has plenty of storage space for a weekending or even a week long trip. The refrigerator is top loading and a nice deep well sink, keeping things nice, nice and secure inside. Storage along and on the, the side and front of the sink also adds to what's underneath the stove. Nicely enclosed forward cabin has double doors with a nice space here, double double cabin. I like how low it is, you don't have to climb up into the bunk. Plenty of storage, it has equal amount of storage on port and starboard side. And then also it has a space where you can fill in this gap to make the, the, the bunk even larger. He has a good size head with a standing shower, uh, marine head holding tank, electric head, and um, plenty of storage behind the mirror. Half cabins have a little bit of standing headroom as you first walk in. There's sitting headroom um, on the port side, and plenty of room to stretch out all the way back. The port and starboard side cabins are here. Access is underneath the stairs. There are also hatches on all four sides of the engine, so for very good access. Now, the Vico comes with a, a sail drive, uh, folding prop is an option, but I'm very pleased with the power that the 30 horsepower uh, Yanmar diesel has. So all throughout Europe, Vico Yachts is known as the value-based yacht. I was very um, pleasantly surprised to find a nicely appointed boat from bow to stern. The nice equipment that's put on there and the workmanship that goes in this boat. It's simple, easy to maintain. Again, it's affordable and she sails very nicely and she has good, very good performance. So if you like this video, uh, hit the like button, follow us for more content. This boat's going to be at the Annapolis Boat Show um, in October. So if you're around that time, feel free to stop by and come take a look for yourself.